Hi folks, I'm Max from GalaxyNote3Root.com. Today I'm going to show you how to make a backup and uh, uh, restore a ROM um, using Torf Recovery. Uh, last time I showed you using Clockwork My Recovery. Um, the menus are pretty much the same, but for those of you uh, who might not know how to do this, uh, I'm making this video for noobs out there. Um, so first go ahead and uh, power off your phone. And of course you will have to have a rooted uh, Galaxy Note 3 uh, with Torf Recovery installed. Um, I have my Sprint Note 2 here uh, with Twerp Recovery installed. Uh, and go ahead and hold down, volume up, center home, and the power button together for about one, two, three. Uh, and it will say recovery booting and let it boot into recovery. Now, there was a bug with Clockwork My Recovery where Restore wasn't working. With Twerp, there's no bugs like that, so any Twerp uh, will work fine. That's why I've got Twerp installed on my Sprint because I think the Sprint clock for my recovery still doesn't support Restore correctly. Um, so to back up, uh, go ahead and simply hit backup. And you can either choose internal storage or micro SD card if you got it inserted. You can go ahead and select that there. I do suggest using a micro SD card because it will not take up space in your internal storage. And also it's easy to um, have a separate micro SD card, maybe like a small eight gigabyte micro SD card you can just uh, solely use for backing up ROMs. Um, here, you wanna make sure uh, check uh, data system um, and uh, boot. That's pretty much it. You can also do recovery if you want to. Um, but usually this should actually set up by itself. I don't know why it was only uh, taking data, but basically you want uh, boot system and data. All right, also you can set a name. Um, so up here, backup name. Um, go ahead and make a name. For example, I'm gonna back up my stock ROM. So I'm gonna just name it stock and you can put a date or whatever. Um, I'm gonna put stock there, hit go. And it's gonna name it as uh, back it up in the folder called stock. And I'm gonna go ahead and swipe, and this will start backing up my whole ROM. Now, what is a whole ROM? Uh, basically, your system, data, and boot. So your system and boot is pretty much um, the whole ROM, the Android OS. Um, so it includes, if you install some Sinogen mod ROM, it's gonna uh, back up the whole ROM. The data partition is where all of your user data gets stored, such as your settings, um, your app data, um, anything that you've installed after you've installed the ROM. Now it's not gonna include any of your uh, personal media such as personal photos, videos, uh, or files that are in your internal storage or micro SD card. All that, all of that, it just stays there. So you don't have to back that up. Um, backing up those along with this will make it huge depending on how many you know, personal files you have. So this only backs up the, uh, the actual ROM with your settings, your apps, um, you know, all your logins, whatever. Um, so that's what backs up. And uh, Twerp will turn off sometimes uh, after a while, so you'll have to turn it on. Uh, anyway, this will take about, actually it shouldn't take too long here because uh, I don't have, this is just a stock ROM I'm backing up. Um, so it's actually almost done here, all right? And uh, let's say, when do you restore a ROM? Uh, let's say you, you know, you're installing a new ROM, um, you've backed up your ROM and you've installed this new Sinogen Mod 10.1 and uh, you reboot and you end up in a boot loop. Now there's usually ways to fix uh, the boot loop, um, but uh, sometimes there are times you can't fix it or maybe you have an important call coming, um, you know, business call or something, then you might wanna get your phone working right away. Then what you can do is uh, turn your phone off, boot into Twerp Recovery like I showed you, go to Restore, um, you don't have to do factory reset or any of that. This will restore everything. Um, simply hit uh, the folder that you want to uh, restore. So I've made a backup on stock there. I'm going to go ahead and hit stock. And it's going to uh, restore boot system and data. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, swipe that. Now you can also just restore data or system or boot. Um, that depends on the situation. Uh, but in most of the time, you'll want to uh, restore everything. Uh, because even if you store, restore the data on a different ROM, it might not be compatible, so I don't actually recommend that. Um, so definitely, if you want to you know, back up your apps, use Titanium Backup App. If you want to back up your SMS text messages, use SMS Text Backup App. Uh, maybe I'll have another video on that for noobs out there. 
uh, and then you can just restore it after installing EROM. Of course, you'll have to re-sign in to Gmail, Facebook, whatever, uh, but you'll be able to keep your app data, um, your level 50 on Angry Birds. Uh, most of the apps, you know, games and stuff or whatever, it'll keep the data uh, using Titanium Backup app. And also your SMS text messages, you'll have to use a uh, third-party SMS text uh, backup app, which there's a bunch on the Play Store, so you can use those. Um, and I do use Google Voice for my SMS, so I don't actually need to back it up. Um, just makes it easy for me since I flash ROMs like every hour here. Um, so I, I need a little bit more automated uh, method there. Um, there are also ways to back up your apps to the cloud. Um, I kind of stay away from it personally because I'm, uh, I'm not uh, one of those people that depend on cloud much, uh, especially for personal information. Um, so that's why I don't do it. But I mean, you can always do that, which makes it even easier. Uh, but I'm not going to go into that in this tutorial. Uh, but it is restoring data here, and it should be done in a second. Reboot system now. Uh, and you should be back on your stock ROM, and uh, you know, or whatever ROM you restored. Anyway, this should show you how to um, back up ROM and restore ROM using Twerp Recovery. And I will just uh, make it go until the beginning of this uh, here. There we go. And I've restored my ROM um, perfectly on my Sprint Galaxy Note 3. Anyway, thanks guys for watching this video. If this video has helped you back up restore ROMs on your Clockwork Mod, or sorry, Torp Recovery, um, don't forget to hit that like button here, subscribe, uh, subscribe button there or wherever it is. And uh, don't forget to sign up for my email list at uh, galaxynote3root.com. Uh, we update you once a week with ROM of the Week tips, hacks, and more. And also, if you want to check out how to back up and restore using Clockwork Mod Recovery, um, it is on my site. Go to galaxynote3root.com. Uh, hit the FAQ link at the top. It's like the Galaxy Note 3 FAQ or whatever. I've listed all the how-tos there, the basic how-tos. Um, so you can check that out, how to install ROM, um, you know, how to root your phone, uh, all that good stuff. Anyway, see you all later. Uh, stay high on Android.